Welcome back to SB Nation. NHL free agency is in full swing, and the big story is Nashville Predator defenseman Shea Weber is on the verge of signing a long-term offer sheet with the Flyers worth an estimated $110 million. Our very own Dirk Hogue from On the Forecheck and Travis Hughes from Broad Street Hockey have more. The Philadelphia Flyers have signed Nashville Predators restricted free agent defenseman Shea Weber to a massive 14-year, $110 million dollar offer sheet. It's just an unheard of story that's completely blown the roof off of an otherwise pretty dull NHL offseason. The Predators have seven days to match the offer and it's really up in the air whether or not they will. Uh, the Flyers have serious needs on their blue line thanks to career-ending injuries to Chris Pronger and, and the recent departure of Matt Carl um, to the Tampa Bay Lightning in unrestricted free agency. Um, but, but you know the signing of Weber, if they're able to get him, uh, really solves just about all of their problems. Now, now a $7.8 million cap hit is pretty hefty for the Flyers to take on, and it'll push them just about to the salary limit. But, you know, it's really right around market value for a, for a player of Weber's caliber. The Flyers know what they want, and, and they're, they're frankly going after it. Um, you know, they're taking their best shot at, at acquiring an elite-level defenseman that they truly do need. And, and the big question now is whether or not Predators general manager David Poyle can match the offer. Uh, for, for more on that, we turn to Dirk Hogue over at On The Forecheck. Thanks, Travis. Now, when you look at the basic numbers behind this deal, $110 million over 14 seasons, that averages out to a little under $8 million a year, which is manageable for a top defenseman like Weber. However, $80 million of that money is loaded up in the first six years of the contract, and that presents a challenge to a small market team like the Nashville Predators. Now, over the last several years, they have made tremendous progress on the business front. Ticket sales are up, corporate sponsorships are up, the non-hockey events at Bridgestone Arena are through the roof, and over the last year, the team also added Canadian billionaire W. Brett Wilson to the ownership group. Now, over this last year, we've also seen the leadership of the team tell anybody who's willing to listen that they're willing to spend closer to the cap in order to put together a true Stanley Cup contender. So with that all put together, it really doesn't make sense that they would let their captain go and take back just four first round draft picks in exchange. Now, there has been talk of potentially working out a trade instead, where the Predators would agree not to match the offer sheet, or perhaps work out a deal in exchange for those four first round draft picks. Travis, what do you think the Flyers might have in mind there? Now, thanks to the complexities of the collective bargaining, bargaining agreement, the Predators cannot trade Weber for an entire year should they match his offer sheet. Um, a, a potential trade, then, would, would require the Predators to essentially threaten that they would match this, this offer, um, and, and then Paul Holmgren of the Flyers would have to be scared, basically, in, into believing that there's a chance he could lose out on Weber's services. Um, after convincing Holmgren that, that he's ready to match, Hoyle would then negotiate a trade, which the Flyers would, uh, would, would get Weber, they would get him via the offer sheet, but the Flyers would give Nashville a few roster pieces in return for some of the four first round draft picks that would otherwise come the Predators' way as, as compensation for Weber. Um, in the event that Hoyle can't match, this really seems like the best option for Nashville. But is it really realistic that, that, that Hoyle can convince the Flyers that he's going to sign when he's truly not going to sign him. Unless an offer comes along that really blows him away, I don't see the Nashville Predators going down the trade route. You know, over the last couple of years, they've really invested a lot in Shea Weber. They've made him the face of the franchise, the captain of the team, and they've been selling everybody on the proposition that they're going to start spending closer to the cap and putting together a true Stanley Cup contender year after year. With all that background, I don't see how they could possibly walk away from this offer sheet. The, the situation here in Nashville is really at a critical point. The momentum has been growing among the fan base and they really have the chance to cement and build upon a foundation of a thriving hockey community here in Middle Tennessee. And I think they've really got to get this done, match the offer, and keep Shea Weber in the fold.